Hello everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. I'm Stranky and we're going to do a burn to put our second Juno ship back on course with Juno because somehow it lost its Juno um, thingy-majiggy. So anyway, Juno is actually right here. So we need to just sort of swing around so we we meet it a bit better because right now we're not going to meet it at all what could be i mean that that orange one but yeah we'll have a better a better one so anyway that is in 48 minutes so we'll speed up time a little bit what we could do is probably actually warp like that that's a safer way i'm, I'm much more comfortable warping like that because, um, yeah, we, we've we've experienced things that have gone wrong before. So, uh, yeah, we wanna we wanna warp. Now we've only got a thirty second burn to do this one. Um, so I'm gonna actually it's now nineteen minutes. So we'll go about halfway. Zoom there. So we're now about ten minutes away. There we go. And we lose it when we zoom in. We'll walk there. And then what we'll do? Um, we'll do the it's on full full power. It's a thirty second burn. But um, we'll walk a little bit closer. I like to do this in map mode because you see more what's going on. I, I could. Uh, Zoom out a bit, but it's about two minutes away. I want to move that little bit closer so that we'll do a bit of a burn before and a bit after, so we'll be smack on. I mean, we should be pretty close, but um, yeah, if we go up like this, um, I don't know what the purple line is. We're about a minute away now. So we're facing the node. If we go into spaceship view, we are here. We're burning this way, so Juno should be somewhere there. Probably we're not close enough to see it. We should be able to see it, but uh, somehow we can't. Maybe I'm just not looking in the right place, but it should be somewhere between us and the sun. So, um, yeah. So we'll go back to map view, and we're. Well, it's actually, if we look at the sun, it is there. Alright. So it's not exactly where I thought it was. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up this and give it a little bit. of a burn and try okay so the purple is our our actual path or where we're going to be I don't quite understand all these lines Do a bit of a harder burn. Keep facing the node. So have we actually lost? Our Juna thingy-majiggy. I think we have. All right, let's. <coughs> Sorry, got a bit of a frog in my throat there. All right, let's um, add a maneuver. Hang on. So like that. That gives us. I 
gives us another Juno encounter. 44, 805, 35, okay. 19, no. Um, 38, that seems to be about the best we can do. Alright, so we'll. Face that node, and it is in fourteen minutes. I guess we could do it now. No problem doing it now, and we'll. It's just pretty much a retrograde burn. So I think we need our blue line to. Um, To pop a Juna encounter, that's all. We're wasting a little bit of fuel, it must be said. Come on. Is that an actual Juna encounter? It is, it is. I'll just, uh, just improve it that little bit more. Okay, so that gives us a Juno encounter. Then when we get there, we can then burn to Juno. So what we'll do, we'll do an F5. Right, that's good. And we can um, grab that maneuver and get rid of it. There, so we don't have some periapsis. There we go, and then we have Juno encounter. So 54 days. So I think we can actually warp to there. We don't know. Do days. We're on 10,000 times acceleration, so we'll do that because we don't have 54 days of footage. Can you imagine, like, if I had done it, how I was going to do it with all these. Uh, Missions running simultaneously. Nah, no, it's too much for my brain to, to handle. It'll be like 54 days of footage. At like 20 minutes per episode. Um, yeah, I mean there would be a little bit of time acceleration here and there. But um, that would be crazy. We wouldn't manage it at all. In the meantime, what's his name is on the surface. Needing to come home. At least we should be able to get a bit more science. I don't know if there's any science we could get while we're out here. I think we we'll probably have done pretty much everything we uh, we had. Um, if I was to do that, do we have any crew report? Yes, yeah, see, we've got it. It's okay. We stop warping now. Um, we'll warp again. At Ten thousand. We we'll have the we we'll have a comnet at least up. So we did leave that satellite in orbit around Juno, which helped. Which I'm guessing. Um, where's Kerbin? Kerbin would be here, and we have. I have a satellite somewhere there. Can't remember putting that one out, but yeah, apparently we do have a satellite in orbit of the sun. Okay, we finished that. We'll warp again. I like to do it in small chunks because it is um, it is a bit dodgy if you just speed it up. You can easily overshoot. Um, what I'm going to do is actually press another F5 and quick save at this point. So, uh, so we'll see what we can do. Like, if we uh, mess it up, we can come back here. But I think we'll probably do another quick save a bit closer. But you never know. Things do go wrong 
more often than not. And before I learnt the quick save, things used to go horribly wrong all the time. And we probably could have saved ourselves a lot of hassle and time um, by using it in. Uh, so there's Juno Encounter, there's Juno Escape. So we've got quite a lot of time to actually burn um, or set a manoeuvre for Juno. So we're going to be quite close now. So if we go here, so there's the sun, right? So Juno. Uh, it really should be visible at this point. It's below us. Okay, we're gonna be above us, so it's below us. The sun and Juno should be down. Th there it is. Look, we found it. Okay. So we'll warp there. And we've got some time while we're in a Juno periapsis, so we do have a. Yeah, we do have a tuna periapsis. I don't know if there's something we could do right now to to lower that. Um, because it would be more efficient to do it out here than than there. Let's um, let's try a, a little maneuver. So if we were to do that one, that brings us down. And brings the hmm three hours, and there it is five hours, so it would be a bit closer. Um, 47 okay so that will be but I think ideally we come in on top but let's see if we do some of that twelve um, could I focus my view there we are uh, there we go that's how we're gonna come in So we want to do something like that. Yeah, that brings us in above. That puts us in a polar orbit. Now, could I lower that at all? Um, apparently, I can. How big is this burn going to be? 400. It's not bad. It's not that bad at all. Um, can we get a bit straighter? That's straighter. There's one million. Nine hundred. be a little bit too close. Yeah, we'll bring that. Hang on. Yeah. 
I don't seem to be able to get it any closer without us going off off center. So we'll try, try and do that because we need to be in polar at orbit. So we'll do that. Um, so we'll turn that off and then we face the node. And it's in four minutes. We'll warp a bit closer. It's supposed to be nine seconds, but I don't think so. We'll see how this goes. So, um, I'm going to do it a bit early, but it should be okay. We're getting closer anyway doing this, so. And the earlier we do it, probably we'll use less less thingy-majiggy delta V anyway to get the same results. What worries me is we don't have that much left to, to come home with, and we have to land. We should be landing with this, not um, not making maneuvers like this, really. But we'll see. I think it is more fuel efficient to do it here because then all we have to do is a little retrograde burn once we reach the reach the periapsis and then we should be good to go and to land and um, hopefully we can um, do a slower burn now it should be okay Thing like that. We're almost there. And there we go. Brilliant. So now we can get rid of this. <laughs> and yeah. That's pretty good. So what we can do is. Um, check the time we're in 17 ish minutes obviously depending on on editing uh, we'll, we'll warp we'll try and do the circularization or circuit yeah whatever it is we'll get an orbit going before we end the episode so this is going to be a very hard landing trying to land close to um, Arnard, because we need to pick him up and we need him to fix our um, parachutes so that we can come back home with him. So we're just going to keep warping to the sphere of in sphere of influence change thingy <laughs> where we enter Kerbin, not Kerbin, Juno airspace. Uh, if we do backspace, it should give us back our center on this. That's better. So we'll warp there. And cats are jumping up on stuff. There we go. We're getting close now. So even with the warp off we should pass through at any second and boom there we go now we changed our view so we can start planning this minute now do we have at this point um, any science mm, apparently not okay or if we get any of that That actually has science. Has fifty. Hmm. Um. I guess we could take it. We'll keep that data. We'll have to see. All right. So where is? Uh, Good old Juno. I always lose Juno. Should be below us somewhere. 
Let's go back into map mode. So we'll plan our. No, we don't want Ike. Um. Why can't I? There we go. Add a maneuver. So we want to go. This is why can't this happened to me before where I couldn't put a maneuver on a maneuver why is that like that I need to move that there. That's not a proper maneuver. All right, let's. Um, actually, pardon me for sniffing. By the way, I have a bit of a cold, so we'll um, we'll walk up there, and we'll just try and wing it. Some maneuvers aren't working. So if the maneuvers don't work, don't waste time with maneuvers. So we can go retrograde. Go. Shall we try and make him over now? What's wrong with the maneuver? No, I want this way. That's pretty good. I'm quite happy with that. It's quite polar, I think. It looks quite straight. So that is in uh, two hours. So we will want to warp closer. Um, Well, that, what we'll do with the rest of the experiments, we'll take them from the surface. Because um, I think you get more than up in space. But at least we've got 50 science already on this, so that's pretty good. I probably do actually have um, more experiments to be taking. I'll be done right now. Log pressure data. Ooh. Yes, we get that. Can we... Log the temperature. Keep that. That's good. So we did... That. So if we were to... EVA. Um, we'll take that data and we will take that data and oh what's his name can you do an EVA report we already have one it's okay so we can um, ward and get back inside so we've got us we've got our science well all our lovely science I think that's all I brought I know that can be de deployed a bit um, yeah, that's okay. So we're still 12 minutes away. So we will actually warp a bit closer so that we can reduce the time. And uh, there's Juno right below us. We should be able to see what's his name is here. Look. And then we can try and see when it spins around where we can land close to him so just keep warping and uh, 
now three wet three three widgets three minutes away it's a 49 second burn apparently so we want to burn about well we are a little bit early to say the truth um, I mean, ideally we do it here but is that gonna take us off of being straight not really no that's okay so now it is three minutes we'll just keep warping we'll now face the node You can see by the nav ball it is actually facing a warp one minute away. Okay, it was still a little bit before the periapsis, but I think we'll be a bit more efficient like that. So um any second now we can start. So we've got 520, so we still have a bit left in this tank. I'll have to check my staging before we do any more. So I think we can start now. The reason I did it a little bit more than half is so that we'll be a bit close to the periapsis. So we should bring the apoapsis down a bit more um, with the same amount of delta V, theoretically. I mean, we don't have to be smack on with this. So if I zoom out, we should see our circle coming around. I mean, from this sort of distance, it wouldn't really be very different at all. off okay so we can get rid of that now <laughs> yeah and we'll call this an episode so we're now sort of in a polar ish orbit um, of Juno uh, we are pretty much this is 1.1 this is 1.0 yeah I mean we could do a little bit of retrograde to bring this down a bit but I think we're quite Close. So what we want to do is then speed up time till this sort of comes in one of our paths, and then we'll try and probably um, bring this down then to uh, to meet up with it, and then we'll come in and try and land as much on top of him as we can. But uh, yeah, we're gonna have to speed up time to do that. So. Uh, it's quite exciting. So we'll try and do that in the next episode. So thanks a lot for watching. I've been Stranky. This has been Kerbal Space Program. I hope you're enjoying this series. I I certainly am. I'm enjoying recording it. So uh, yeah, leave those likes. Leave me any comments. And uh, thanks a lot for watching. And I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.